Hi guys, this is Seth, and in this video, I'll be showing you the top 5 browsers for Yosemite. I will be putting up these 5 browsers up against each other to see who comes out on top. Google Chrome, Safari, Opera, Maxthon, and Firefox. If you feel that I've left any worthy browser out of my list, please let me know in the comment box down below. Just a quick note, I don't own a Mac, but I have uh, installed the Yosemite on my PC and I'll be doing all my testing there. I won't be doing the traditional comparisons using the benchmark softwares. However, I will be comparing the browsers on these three guidelines. One, speed. Second, design. And finally, the features. So without any further ado, let's get in straight to the video. So first up, for the speed, I will be testing the speed of the browsers on pages which I've never visited before any.do, imager.com and myspace. I'll be telling you the average time it took to open these websites on each of the browsers. I will also be telling you the time it takes to launch each of the browsers. First off came Chrome which took 1.68 seconds to launch and took an average of 10.7 seconds to launch the websites. Next Safari which took 1.87 seconds to launch and took an average of 13.24 seconds to open the websites. Then came Opera which took 1.76 seconds to launch and 9.86 seconds to launch these three websites. Following Maxton which took 1.58 seconds to launch and took an average time of 13.9 seconds to launch these websites. Finally, Firefox took 2.16 seconds to launch and an average time of 17.33 seconds to launch the three websites. Design is an integral part of any browser. It affects the way you use the browser. All the browsers have almost the same type of design with just a few differences in the layout. Chrome has a long URL bar and to the right of it lies the installed extensions and a drop down menu of options. The reload, forward and back buttons are placed to the left of the URL bar. The extension tabs is well designed and the active extensions and the settings page is easy to maneuver around and the ability to search the settings is really useful. Next is Safari and it is by far the best design browser, period. Everything is really fluid and the positioning of the various elements like the toolbar and all the buttons are very ergonomically placed. The tabs view where all the tabs along with a little bit of its contents has a very nice touch which will help you find the tab you require if many tabs are open together. My only complaint with the design is the setting menu which has no search button which makes it difficult to find my settings. However, the settings page has many tabs that will help you find your required setting. Another fault is the absence of the favicons for a page. But this can be easily remedied with an extension from the store. I am not a huge fan of Pera's design where everything feels a little clunky. We can change the design with themes but this really does not help the cause. However, the buttons are well placed. And the settings page is very well defined. Maxton goes for the minimalistic look and feel. Basic buttons are placed to the left of the URL and all the others are placed to the right. The home page is very well designed and you can access everything very easily. The settings is also very ergonomically designed and has all the basic options listed very nicely in two tabs. Even though there is no search for the settings page, it is not required since you can find everything really easy. Firefox looks decent. The URL bar takes up half the space, followed by the search bar on the right, followed by the basic buttons beside it. I really like the fact that the download button is right there and all your downloaded files can be easily accessed. The settings page resembles a lot like the Safari with no ability to search it. So for its design, I would like to give Chrome an 8, Safari an 8.5, Opera a 7.5, Maxton an 8, and Firefox an 8 as well. All of the browsers in the list have the same basic functions such as remembering passwords, bookmarks, and so on. So I have just concentrated on the more specific features of each of the browsers. All of the browsers in the list also have support for the latest technologies like HTML5 and also has great compatibilities with web technologies like JavaScript and so on. The best feature of Chrome is Google. To be more elaborate, we all use Google. You watching this video will be most likely be having a Google account 
and this account will be synced across all your Android phones or an iPhone to talk to each other and have the best browser experience. Before we talk about Safari's features, it has one major flaw, that it is Apple. Apple is like a premium club where only its products can communicate with each other. So if you're using a Safari on a Mac and you use an Android phone, there is no way that you can get everything synced together. This is one major loophole which I hope Apple will address in the near future. But on the pro side, I love Safari's lookup feature where you can look anything without having to go through the trouble of opening Google and then searching for it. If you right click on any word or phrase and select lookup, all the relevant information about it will be directly shown. Opera's best feature is its off-road mode. This is done by Opera to save your bandwidth. What it basically does is that it allows the Opera servers to load and deliver sampler sized pages to your devices, thus speeding up slow networks. Maxton has a ton of features, but none of which are really important. Among these myriad of features available, my favorites are the built-in ad block and the push to device features. The cloud push service is very simple. You log in through your Maxton ID into your various devices and after that you can push any page you are viewing on any device onto another device. The most crucial feature of the Firefox is its safety. It has stronger protection against phishing and malware than any other web browser. And also the developer tools it gives is more versatile than any of the other browsers. It also has the best compatibility with JavaScript that overall increases your browsing experience with this browser. After all the testing, here are the final results. The results are more inclined towards speed and features and focuses less on its design. At number 5 comes Safari. Number 4, Firefox. At position number 3 is Maxton. There is a tie for number 1 between Opera and Chrome. It's all about your own preference. If your priority is speed without much care for the aesthetics, then I would recommend you to go with the Opera which has a lot of more features and is also faster than Chrome. So that's it for this video. Please hit the like button if this was helpful to you. Subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned for more videos coming your way. This is Seth signing off.